Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Every Sketch Feature Explained in SolidWorks. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the circle feature specifically. Uh, I'm going to show you the basics of this feature so you can get a general idea of what this is. If you click on the little triangle, the drop-down menu will show you the types of circles. There are two different types of circles we can draw, circle and perimeter circle. Let's start with the first option. We start by clicking the sketch button and select a plane to work on. For now, I will select the front plane. Now select the circle option from the drop-down menu. This feature will draw perfect circles of any radius from its center point. By dragging the center point of the circle, you can move the location of the circle to anywhere you want. By dragging the solid line of the circle, inwards or outwards, you can increase or decrease the diameter of the circle. Now let's take a minute to go over the options on the left. We will look at the options from bottom up. This first option allows you to change the radius of the circle. So let's say I change the radius to 3 inches. Now as a final dimension, let's change it to 2 inches. Moving on to the next option. This one allows you to move the location of the circle in the y-axis. Let's change it to positive 2. Let's keep it at positive 3 as our final dimension. This next option allows you to move the location of the circle in the x-axis. Let's change it to negative 2. As our final dimension, let's keep it at positive 3. This next option, as discussed in the last lesson, converts a solid line to a symmetry line and vice versa. Just check or uncheck the box to get the desired results. This next option will add a fixed relation to your sketch, which once selected will be shown in the existing relations section. Selecting this feature will lock the sketch at its existing location. The sketch color changes from blue to black and you can no longer move the location of the circle or change the radius. To undo, simply delete the relation. Now let's talk about some other relations. We start off by selecting the center of the circle in the origin, and on the left we can see a list of potential relations. Selecting the horizontal relation will make the center of your circle perfectly horizontal with the origin. And similarly, selecting the vertical relation will make the center of your circle perfectly vertical with the origin. And lastly, by selecting the coincident relation, will make the center of your circle lie perfectly on the origin. Moving on to the second and last option in the circle feature, the perimeter circle, which allows you to draw a circle using three points. And all these options on the left can be manipulated as discussed earlier. Another way to use this feature is to draw two lines as such. and then use the perimeter circle feature using these three points. One last thing to note is that once you select the circle feature, you can switch between the circle or a perimeter circle feature by selecting the desired option on the left. And with that, we just finished learning about the circle feature. Again, in this series, I'll be going over all the sketch features of SolidWorks. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the spline feature. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and stay tuned for all of the videos. See you in the next episode. Thank you.